Welcome to this quick video which is all about how to install software on the Raspberry Pi. Now you probably already know how to do this but you may not know that if you're using the new Raspberry Pi operating system uh, since about May 2025 then when you try to install software using PIP um, you get an error message. So here I am I'm trying to install Pi Audio got sudo pip install pi audio which is the um, standard installation command I press enter and what I get here is externally managed environment this environment is externally managed and it says that I can't install it it um, suggests that I install a um, suggests that I use a virtual environment uh, which is one solution but the challenge with that is that first of all it's quite um, confusing and more complicated if you don't know what you're doing and also secondly it doesn't give you access to the package globally across all of the users and across all of the software you have to be within the virtual environment so two quick easy fixes to do this the first one is actually given at the bottom and it says um, you can override this at the risk of breaking your python installations or operating system by passing break system packages so you can uh, run the code and at the end type in dash dash break system packages and then that will install it uh, it does obviously give you a warning or a note uh, and it does give you an overview that potentially this isn't the best way to do it the one that i would recommend is you use this one this solution here so to install python packages system wide try apt install python XYZ where XYZ is the package you are trying to install so what I need to do here then is get rid of the pip and I'm going to type apt install which I already have then we're going to python and then we replace the XYZ with sudo apt install Python uh, followed by the audio sorry side followed by the um, package which in this case is Pi audio press enter and you can see here from the screen it's now attempting to install the package and unable to locate the Python audio and I've missed there that I didn't put Python 3 here we go that's better so for Python 3 um, are we ready it will install it yes press enter and this will now uh, install the package and there it is ready to go so two options there first one I wouldn't recommend is the break system or use the apt install rather than the pip Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to share this with other people if they've had the same issue. Um, it does cause a bit of a headache to start with, but obviously there is a quick workaround. Thanks again for watching.